very good. Thank you. I think you will be a good experimenter because that's all I want you to do is blow out candles. And okay. you look like you should be able to do that. I'll light it again. This time, all I ask you to do is to blow it out through a piece of wood. Okay. I guess I'll try again. <laughs> yes. It won't go out. Now, I want you to blow it out through a glass jar. Mm -hmm. I'll we'll try, I guess. All right. You did it. Yeah. How come <laughs> you were able to blow it out through the glass jar, but not the piece of wood? Well, I think it maybe was because um, the gl the glass jar is round and the piece of wood is is rectangular. It's, it's rectangular. In fact, I'll try blowing it out through the piece of wood. You watch what happens to the candle flame. Okay. What's happening to it? The flame is um, being drawn toward the piece of wood. Okay, what does that mean is happening to the air as it goes around? It's circulating through, and when it hits the candle, it, the air goes towards the wood. It's actually going this way. So it's yeah. coming around here and going that way by the time it gets here. Yeah. Okay, now I'll do the same thing with the bottle, and you watch what happens to it. Yeah, it's, it's not going back towards the bottle, it's no, just going, it's going straight round. out. That's because this is sort of, you said rounded. Have you ever heard of the word streamlined? Yeah. yeah what does that mean? It means, um, so it's sort of rounded over the top. Why do they streamline things? Mm, so, the, so, the, so they can go faster and right, move Right, so faster. there's not as much friction of the air. Yeah. Okay, now you did pretty well with that. Here's something for you to try on Chris. She likes to play tricks, right? This time you're going to blow out the candle through three bottles. Almost. Give it a wait, I'll move this in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, almost. Try one more. You got it going. One more. Okay, I'll try again. Aha, you did it. <laughs>